Financial maths, annuities, this is our first content block. What is an annuity? Take a deep breath. Take a drink of water before I begin because this always gets complicated when it doesn't need to be. Okay. What is an annuity? An annuity is an investment account that has regular equal payments made. Interest is compounded at the end of each period. Annuities are calculated in this course, um, the course I'm talking about, our course, um, using future and present value interest tables. Or present value tables, sorry, not really um, interest tables. Okay, so what does all of this mean? Annuity. An annuity in simpler terms. Let me draw it out for you. Okay. This is the bank. The bank has my money in it. Let's say this is the person at the bank. This is me at the bank. I'm going to make this as simple as I can because it always gets really complicated. I'm in year three again. There's my hair. Okay, this is me at the bank. I'm at the bank. I did really, really well this year and I saved $20,000, right? I, okay, I have all the savings left over. What am I going to do with it? All right, let's take $500. I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to say, hey, I have this kind of money that I want to use in some sort of investment. I'm going to give you guys $500 now this year. And if you're going to pop $500 in the account, the bank goes, yep, we'll take the $500. We're going to pop it into this account. This is the account here. I now have $500 in this account. There is an investment that they're going to place money on to that with. So there's interest. They're going to go, okay, cool. You've given us $500. We are going to give you 5% interest on that. I go, amazing. Thank you so much. That is really, really nice of you guys. I appreciate it. They go, no worries at all. That's going to be $25 every year that we're going to pop onto that account. I go, amazing. At the end of that year, I have $500 plus $25 of interest. An annuity is in essence about the regular payment. So then I come back. It's now the second year, the start of the second year. You go, hey guys, amazing job on that. I'm super excited about that $25 I got on my 500. I'm going to add another 500. That's how an annuity works. I now have... $1,025. They're going to go, thank you so much. We'll see you back again on the 1st of January next year. They're going to calculate the interest. The interest is going to be added. I'm going to come back at the start of year three. I'm going to go, hey, here's another 500. I am investing a regular equal payment at the same time every year, every month, every week, every six months, every three months, every four months, whatever it is. I am investing that money, same time, same amount, every time period and they are paying me interest we don't work this out using compound interest we work this out using a table there are two types of annuities future value present value let's think of it as a timeline this is us we are currently i'll make this really meta we're currently watching me give a lecture on annuities is you watching that lecture wow so interesting this is where we are right now you're thinking about investing some money the future value of an annuity would be if you invested that money today and you're asking me how much money it's going to be worth here in 2025 the present value of an annuity is you saying i invested this much money what is the present value of my annuity right now this can also work as if I invest this much, what, or if I want to have this much here, what would I need to invest right now? So imagine this timeline when you're thinking about future and present. The actual way of working it out is exactly the same. It's just words. So what is the future value? The future value is finding the total value of an investment after a given period of time. So after we've done all the investing. So we're going to pop some examples in. Given the table below, 
find the future value if $8,000 is invested half yearly over four years with interest compounded at 7% per annum. Okay, this is the future value of $1 in this table. Okay, half yearly over four years. Twice a year every four years is going to be eight time periods. Interest compounded at 7% per annum is going to be, um, is invested half yearly over four years, which means that it's happening twice a year. We need to half our interest rate, so 3.5%. So we have 9.052. I'm going to do 8,000 times 9.052 and that is going to give me my answer we go through here 8 3.5 percent 9.052 72,416 dollars so this sounds like a bargain right you pop eight thousand dollars in an account and you get 72 grand no you've put eight thousand dollars in that account eight times remember eight thousand times eight is sixty four thousand dollars so sixty four thousand dollars of that money was yours but the bank has paid you about eight thousand four hundred and sixteen dollars that's a pretty good deal to just pop some money in account for four years so it's important you think about the amount you've popped in and the amount of interest you've earned so given the table below Find the future value of $8,000 is invested. That was our question. What if you were asked to find the amount of interest? We already know that including interest, the answer was $72,416. Without interest, we simply need to take the amount of money we added, which was $64,000, and subtract that from the amount that we actually received. With that, we get $8,416, like I said. All right, so we're going to work through these a little bit slower so you can do them at the same time. Given the table below, find the future value if $12,500 is invested three times a year for two years uh, with interest compounded at 12% per annum. First thing is our time period. Three times a year for two years is going to be six time periods. We now need to change our interest rate three times a year, but this is per annum. We need to divide this by three, which becomes 4%. We now have our intersection 6.633. All we have to do is take our value 12,500, pay attention to the actual heading. This is the future value of $1, so we can take the full value. 12,500 times it by 6.633. Once we do that, 12,500 times 6.33, I get 79,125. Okay, um, we've also, oh, we'll get the answer here. Yep, 6.633. 6 83,287 point. Oh, I missed a six in my answer. Apologies. Yes, that is correct. 82,000, wait, 6.663. I wrote 6.633. There we go. 83,287 dollars and 50 cents. So when I wrote back here, this, see how I wrote that incorrectly? 6.6. Oh. The answers used the wrong number. Okay, my original answer was correct. This needs to be a three. Always important to check your working. Obviously, we still get it wrong ourselves. Okay, that was future value of an annuity. What is the present value of an annuity? This is the present value, the whole sum of money that could be invested today at the same compound interest rate as the annuity to produce the same future value over the same period of time. So essentially it's saying, I want this amount of money. What do I need to invest today? It's about planning out your investment. Let's say you want to go to, you, you're going to do Euro summer in 2025 and you need $30,000 to do that. You're trying to figure out how much money needs to be invested now so that you have $30,000. So let's look at some examples. Given the table below, Find the present value if $2,300 is contributed half yearly for two years at 16% per annum compounded every six months. So let's work through this. Half yearly for two years is going to be four time periods. 
16% per annum compounded six monthly. We need to divide that by two to get every six months. 8%, 3.31. So I'm going to take $2,300 and do 3.31. 2,300 times 3.31. And I get 70, sorry, 7,613. So we can work through that the same way. Break this down. There it is. $7,613. All right. Now it is your go. We're going to work through these again a bit slower. Given the table below, find the present value if $54,000 is contributed quarterly for a year at 24% per annum compounded quarterly. Quarterly for a year is going to be, I'll give you a couple seconds four time periods. Um, the interest rate, if it's 24% per annum to compound quarterly, we need to divide that by four, is going to be 24 divided by four, 6%. We need to take 54,000 times that by 3.47. 54,000 times 3.47. And we get 18,000 seven hundred and thirty eight much simpler aren't these than a lot of people think they're going to be eighteen thousand seven hundred and thirty eight okay so this is a question from the 2017 hsc paper a table of future value interest factors for an annuity of one dollar is shown so again the same thing annuity of one dollar so we times by the total amount an annuity involves contributions of $12,000 per annum for five years. The interest rate is 4% per annum compounded annually. Calculate the future value of this annuity. Calculate the interest earned on this annuity. Okay, we're now going to work through this one together. $12,000 per annum for five years. We have a period of five years and it's 4% per annum compounded annually. Therefore, our value is 5.4163. We're going to do 12,000 times 5.4163. 12,000 times 5.4163. And I get 64,000. nine hundred and ninety five and sixty cents the interest earned on this annuity we need to find the total amount that we invested without the bank giving us anything twelve thousand dollars every year for five years twelve thousand times five is going to be sixty thousand and this is how i'd recommend working it out on your paper then you go six four nine nine five sixty and you subtract sixty thousand and you would get four thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars and sixty cents and there's our answer okay this is a bit of a longer one the table gives the present value interest factors for an annuity of $1 per period for various interest rates and numbers. R is our interest rate, N is our number of time periods. Oscar plans to invest $200 each month for 74 months. His investment will earn interest at a rate of 0 0.0080 as a decimal per month. That is 0 0.8 as a number. Use the information to calculate the present value of his annuity. $200 every month for 74 months. His investment will earn a rate of 0 0.0080 as a decimal, which is this one. This is our factor. Present value, we're going to take his $200 every month and we're going to times that by 
point six eight four four six. 200 times 55.68446 and we get 111 or 11,136 dollars and 89 cents that's the present value lucy is using the same table to calculate the loan repayment for her car loan her loan is $21,500 and will be repaid in Equal monthly repayments over six years. The interest rate on her loan is 10.8% per annum. Calculate the amount of each monthly repayment connect, correct to the nearest dollar. So this is what you can sometimes get. You can get linked questions. Um, okay, so we have a loan of $21,500. Equal monthly repayments over six years. The interest on her loan is 10.8% per annum. So we need to do 10.8% divided by 12, which is 0.9% every month which is this one here it is monthly for six years so 12 months every year times six years is going to give us 72 months this is our value we're now going to take her loan which is twenty one thousand five hundred dollars um, and we're calculating her monthly repayment so what we first need to do is find out the total amount of money that she will be repaying um, so we have the interest rate per period, 52.82118. So 52.82118. We're going to times 21,500 by 52.82118. Is that right? Hang on. 52. Oh, no, that's incorrect. Hold on. Um, I just re realized I was like, we can't times the number by something that big. Um, so let's take her, let's divide 21,500 by 72 months. There we go. $298.61. $298.61. $61. 298.61 times 52.82118. And we get the total... Um, amount of each monthly repayment should be my answer is not looking very correct hold on we should have it here there we go okay there we go so that's our problem we need to divide i was like something's definitely wrong um okay so let's go back up here oscar plans to invest 200 dollars every month we have our total value 1113689 um, that was all worked out correctly. That was my rookie error in having not done annuities in a while, forgetting that we need to divide if we're looking for our monthly repayment in this question. We're taking our total amount and dividing by our payment. Because remember, we're not getting paid this. We're paying this. So let's think divide if we're paying. Um, okay, amazing. So I want you to pop a number in the chat from one to five. How confident with annuities are you now? One being low, five being high. Obviously, it's kind of a difficult topic if you don't understand it. I think it gets there in the end, um, but I'm hoping you're all a three or above. If not, that's completely fine. You can come back to these questions when you're ready.